All right, let's get to a Friday briefing started tonight and our sign language interpreter is Gideon Bogo. Now, President Uhuru Kenyatta's order for a lifestyle audit for public servants has sparked controversy in a move that will definitely give a number of people sleepless nights. Let's begin our coverage with that report from Duncan Heimber. Kenya's Commander-in-Chief President Uhuru Kenyatta is unleashing his wrath as he takes the perennial fight against corruption a notch higher. Hii mambo ya watu kuiba mali ya wa Kenya haki ya mungu itaisha katika taifa la Kenya. The president has decreed a mandatory lifestyle audit for all those in public office. Ndiyo wewe tunakuona haya basi. A fight he says he is more than ready for. You must explain. Na ule wa kwanza kufanyua lifestyle audit ni mimi kwa sababu mimi ndiyo mfanyikazi number one. Sindiyo hiyo? Yes. Mimi alafu tuende kwa uyu. Machako's governor Dr. Alfred Mtua was one of the first people to raise the challenge on a lifestyle audit. And in the run-up to the 2017 general election, opposition leaders had called for the lifestyle audits of public servants. National Assembly Majority Leader Eden Duale has endorsed the move. Because we've seen people with so much wealth that we cannot understand. More money than their salary, more money than the businesses they have. We need people to account. Where did you get money to buy these houses, to buy these pieces of land, to buy these hotels, to buy these vehicles, to buy these aircrafts, to buy all these things? All leaders, you need to account for what you have. Because if you're not able to account where you've gotten money to buy those things, then the conclusion is one, you have stolen from the people of Kenya. Therefore, you are a corrupt individual and you do not deserve to be in a position of power. After the office messenger was Serkali, lazima awajibike na awe tayari kusema ya kwamba hii mali yako naye ameipata kivipi na mimi naunga mkono mheshimiwa rais vile amesema kwamba wacha watu wafanye lifestyle audit ndio tujue kama wewe uliandikwa juzi umefanya mwaka moja peke yake na huko na supermarket wewe umetoa pesa hii wapi however on his twitter handle senate majority leader kipchumba murkomen says and i quote the only problem with the lifestyle audit is that it will expose some of us enjoying perceived status of rich men. There is nothing a Kenyan voter hates more than a poor politician. End of quote. In an exclusive interview with KT News, his party vice chair David Murade had hinted on Uhuru's planned fight against graft. Anybody thinks they can walk in the final term of Uhuru? With uh, anything that smells of corruption, I'm very sorry of him. I know this is somebody who will go even after his own friends like David Murad. If I ever get involved in anything in the next term, that will be his legacy. He will jail all of us. That you can take to the bank. For the president to order the lifestyle audit is one thing. Implementing the directive is another. Bearing in mind that during his first term, Uhuru announced that he would take a pay cut alongside with his deputy. But that remained just that, an announcement. It was never effected. Duncan Heimba, KTN News.